So I've had a clothing brand I've worked on since 2020, so over three years now that is named Backslash, also the name of this channel. As a designer, I have learned so much and tried to strive to find new ways to create things, new tricks and ways to put creativity into action per se. And with AI, there's been a lot of controversy. It's pretty inevitable that AI keeps evolving. And I think instead of stressing over it, why not utilize it? So when it comes to graphic design in general, with collages, you tend to use elements of different things, whether that's vectors or vector packs, you use elements in your designs to create a whole composite. The same goes for certain streetwear design. So why not use AI as elements to then help put together your composite for your design? So that's what I did with an actual t-shirt design that is live on my store right now. And here is how I did it. So I've always wanted to make some clothing designs with like animals or animals I think are cool. Uh, it sounds funny, but the last few years I've been around deer more and more. They're in my backyard every day. I feed them every day, throw out food to them. Um, they get pretty close. I haven't pet one yet, but I'm always around deer and I just think there's something majestic about them. And so I've wanted to use them in a graphic tee design for a while now. And so yeah, that's what I did with this one. There's many generators that you can use. Um, I used Playground AI for this one. That is not a sponsor. But I went to Playground AI and I started messing around with some prompts and some words that helped me were like silk screen print or i used stamp i would do like deer or stag stamp and i just kept generating over and over until i found something i liked and that's the cool thing is you can just keep messing around get different angles and once you get these elements you can export them as vectors and then turn them into your own photoshop vector elements that you can use for anything else once I found what I wanted, which was this one, I upscaled it and took it in Photoshop, and that's where I just kept messing around with it. So here we are in Photoshop. All right, so this is my original AI artwork. And the antlers, as you can see, like they're definitely not even, which I mean, all deer antlers grow in a different formation, different amount of points. And even though they look sort of unnatural, I kind of just liked the shape of them. I liked the way they looked and brought together. And so basically I selected the white aspect of it and I isolated that by itself against the background. And so here is what it looked like at the end. I have a journal with a bunch of just words and phrases that I come up with like or think about and I'll be like, oh, can I combine some of these phrases? Can they create a cool meaning? And yeah, so yeah, one of those phrases I came up with was experience connectivity and I turned the artwork to black and so it being white in all of these spots before it made it look um, more natural like a like an actual stamp but yeah this kind of had an inverted feel to it and then i used a globe texture that i had from a vector pack i used one of my logos messed around with that a little bit and let's see this file is a little a little different than the final edition but yeah, I used some stars from a Y2K pack I had, and then some over here from a different pack. And then, yeah, mess around with the colors. I wanted to use it on an off-white shirt. And so, yeah, here is the final mock-up. And so, yeah, like when I think about just the potential of AI in terms of using it for elements, normally you would go find a photo and... With, with this type of threshold in Photoshop threshold effect graphic edit, normally people would go and find photographs, usually photographs that they didn't take or they don't have the rights to use, and then use the Photoshop effects on those to get this look. 
and with this you can basically use AI to come up with photographs from different angles that you want that you do have the rights to use and then you can run your Photoshop effects on those and then you have the potential to do that on all sorts of things and come up with all sorts of designs and yeah basically you don't want to get left behind and always be learning and that's kind of how I feel with this whole AI thing. I like that the shirt's like not perfect and I like the kind of grungy vibe to it with the different elements and the different feelings with the the reds and the off-white and then the the black the, the contrast as well I just I think it's a sick shirt that I ended up making simply like I I would say it was easier than many other designs that take hours and hours and hours but it wasn't easy you know it was simple but you have to practice and mess around with the prompts and know what you're doing when you're designing and then you have the potential to come up with something cool something people like and yeah hopefully that helps hopefully you learn something if this video helped you or inspired you or if you have any questions or any video ideas leave them in the comments let me know thank you for watching and yeah why not teach some people some extra tricks? Maybe they don't know. Yeah, have a good day. I appreciate you watching and peace.